progress by DTE Energy to get power restored to its thousands of customers. Let's take a look at the latest outage numbers from DTE. About 41,000 customers are without power. DTE also reports 98% of customers are with power. Thanks for joining us. I'm Will Jones. And I'm Pamela Osborne. The lights are starting to come back on across southeast Michigan. Jacqueline Francis is there, or was there rather, at one Detroit neighborhood as they got their power back on. Jacqueline, I'm sure a lot of relief there. Absolutely. Talk about good timing, Pamela. Angie Butler called us out to her Detroit neighborhood after going days without power. And by the time we left her house, her lights and more importantly, her heat were back on. Angie Butler had just paid her DTE bill Friday when the snowstorm knocked out her power. Wish I could call and say give me my money back. Like many in her Detroit neighborhood, the last 48 hours haven't been easy. It's been difficult for me because of the fact that I suffer from health issues. And not only that, it's a lot of seniors on my block. You know what I'm saying? So I can imagine if I'm suffering from health conditions, what they're going through. She also had to toss out all the food in her fridge. Being on a fixed income, you know, having to buy groceries, and then you got to throw stuff away now, but then they want to compensate you with just $35? That's not enough. She's gotten creative when it comes to staying warm, boiling water, using the steam to heat her home and her food. Look how we have to heat up food. We have to go and bring our leftovers home from Coney Island and heat them up over some steam because we can't use the microwave. She was just about to pack up her bags to stay at a hotel for the night when this happened. Oh, now they're trying to bring on the power. I guess they, somebody must have told that they that you were called out. Look at here. The power just come on? It's trying to come on now. Wow. Angie and her neighbor both ran outside. His power came back on too at that same time. So again, a great moment to be there for. And a reminder, DTE says that 95% of its customers that lost power will have it back on by tomorrow evening. Reporting live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline, thank you. And a reminder, DTE wants you to remember to stay 25 feet away from any downed wires and don't touch anything those wires may be in contact with. You can always call DTE at 1-800-477-4747. If you do see a downed line, be aware that wires behind yellow tape may still be live. And we know that a lot of people are making use of generators right now, but remember, you should never use a portable generator inside of the home. New tonight, we did reach out to Governor Whitmer's office about the recent widespread, widespread power outages after those two big storms. We received a statement from her communications director, Bobby Letty, that reads in part, quote, it is simply unacceptable for the energy companies to continue having prolonged power outages across the state. We are grateful for the line workers and first responders who have been working around the clock to get the power back on and keep Michiganders safe. The legislature plans to hold hearings to address the recent outages, and we look forward to working with them to ensure Michiganders get the answers they deserve, end quote. 